Hello and welcome to the Up Show. I'm Georgie Courage Cole and joining me on the sofa today are Laura Black and Harriet Russell. Welcome, ladies. It's a sunny week here in London, so naturally we had to chat Rosé. We'll be sharing our favourites. We'll also be discussing Kate Moss and Jimmy Choo. Is that a better combination? I don't know. Laura has picked her favourite new pieces from Zara and nutritionist to the stars and British Vogue contributor Rosemary Ferguson is here to chat through a nutrition programme guaranteed to help you reset and feel like a new person. Plus, makeup artist Hannah Martin is back. She's showing us how to achieve the perfect eyeliner technique. But first, we're talking Kate. Not Kate Moss just yet. We're talking Kate and Rio. Harriet, Hello. you're smiling. I'm going to come to you. <laughs> Before I come to you, I'm going to say that my husband has no interest in celebrity news at all other than I told him this news. And he, he went, oh, that's great. <laughs> Last night, which was a very nice reaction. What am I talking about? Well, it's obviously Kate Ferdinand and her husband Rio are having a baby. Oh, and yeah. it's, it's just such nice news. I, I watched their documentary on, I think it was on BBC iPlayer. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's still available. But it's not. I looked last night. Shame. No. Such I a shame. It back on BBC. Yes, lobby. Um, but I, just, I was so impressed by it because I think it's very easy to be cynical about women in her position, which, you know, you meet this sort of very famous, very wealthy footballer and you think, you know, gosh, what an amazing sort of match. But what this documentary showed, obviously, is that his last wife passed away and they have three children. And so Kate had to sort of assimilate into this family and take on this responsibility very, very early in their relationship. And it's come with so, so many challenges. And she has a brilliant... I have to say, there are two documentaries. So the first documentary she doesn't feature in. And the first documentary is just after Rio's yeah. wife has died. Mm. And it's him and his three children. Charlotte Collins and I were talking about this with our show manager on a show catch-up yesterday. And Charlotte said... She's never seen her husband cry like oh, no. she saw him. She said he watched it and she said, what are you watching? I was the same. My husband and I were at a hotel with the children and he was, he was just sitting on the bed. I think one of them was having a sleep. He was sitting on the bed and he, he was crying. I'll kill me for saying this. He had tears rolling down his cheeks. And, and um, I said, what's wrong? And he said, oh my God, don't ever leave us. And Rio was plaiting his daughter's hair. Yeah, that's so and really he was cool. like, I couldn't plait Coco's hair. <laughs> and anyway, so th that's the first documentary. And then a few years later, a couple of years later, there was another subsequent documentary when Rio had then met Kate Wright. And she'd gone mm. into the family home and, and basically had to walk into a home of three heartbroken children. His, his late wife, pictures of her all over the house. You know, such a heart. And she handled it impeccably. Yeah, they'd is also... she quite young? She, yeah, she's my age. She's 32. And she, they, the children had not just lost their mother. They'd also lost their grandmother very yes, closely to that. Yes, an amazing role model, yeah. Um, but if you can't see that documentary, I'd also really recommend Giovanna Fletcher's podcast, Happy Mum, Happy Baby. Kate, Kate Ferdinand went on that. and She's awesome. And she came across so well on that as well, yeah. because, of course, Giovanna Fletcher normally talks to people who have had their children biologically. And this was a very different kind of podcast, but it was so interesting. I come from a blended family of steps and, yeah, and, and what have you. So for me, it really resonated yeah. and I really sort of got what she had to contend and, with. And she said on the second documentary, it was the anniversary of their mother's death. And she got balloons and they went to the grave and she just, yeah, she amazing. like, oh, God, it's just, it gives me, I've got goosebumps yeah, now, see. like. It's just she just handled it. So anyway, she's pregnant. And, then, and the, from what I've seen, I watched the clip of when they announced it, and the children are so oh, happy. Oh my they? God, it's like the best reaction. Mm. It's, and I knew, I knew what she was going to tell them before I watched the clip, so I kind of knew what was coming. But it was really sweet. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, she's a great stepmom. I've got a great stepmom. It's a, it's a tough gig, but she did it really well. Uh, anyway, if you, we've got a clip. I nearly forgot the clip. We've got a clip. If you missed it, here it is. Guess what? No. no. What? I'm pregnant. What? Oh. Please! I knew I was going to forget the clip. Anyway, there's the clip. Happy, what a happy moment in all of this. A weird time to have a baby in lockdown. Hopefully we'll be out by the time she's had her baby, but 
God, do you know anyone who's had a baby in lockdown? I do, I know. Well, one of my friends had her baby in New York mm. and she posted this picture with this mask on holding up. I mean, literally seconds old baby and it just... Oh. My cousin just had a baby in America as well and there's a picture of her and her husband leaving hostel and she's in one of those helmets. The visors. The oh, mum yeah. mm. in a... You know, her husband's in a mask and she's in a mask with a oh. full-on helmet. And you're not allowed in. I had a friend who had a baby in London and he was allowed in for a certain number of hours and then he wasn't allowed back in until you went to pick her up. I think, oh. it, it, I think it's beginning to relax a bit. Mm -hmm. I actually listened to an interview yesterday with an obstetrician and they are trying to get it back to as normal as possible for, you know, people don't stop having babies. Corona might be here, but... Yeah. I also know quite a lot of people who haven't been able to get married because of the situation, so they've gone straight to baby. Yes. Ah. Yeah. I think that's been quite common the as well. The baby boom, the corona mm. baby boom. Yeah. It's going to be a real thing. Uh, we're going to talk about a different Kate now. We're going to talk about Kate Moss and Jimmy Chew's new partnership. Is it a partnership? Basically, she looks bloody amazing. She, she looks smoking hot. Smoking Ridiculous. Hot. And um, it's their pre fall it's, it's a campaign to promote their pre fall collection. And it came out this week. And I mean... Uh, drooling honestly when I saw her she, her in that pink dress with the shoes and her in the little white dress with yeah. the boots yeah only she could do it but she looks insane she really does I love that look as well when she's in the sort of feathery kind of coat or sort of shawl I'm not quite sure what it is but then she's paired it with flat sandals and I think so cool like yeah, so the suit with the trainers yeah, yeah. so boho and her style yeah She's looking amazing. The, the non-alcohol lifestyle, yeah, the tea yeah. total lifestyle is suiting her very well, I have to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, can't, I mean, she looks amazing. I'm not quite there yet. Uh, it was also <laughs> shot, we were saying earlier, it was shot at Ainho Park, where we also did a shoot ourselves this year, the most incredible venue. God, if you won the lottery and were planning a wedding or a big party, that is the place mm -hmm. to do it. It's mega. Um, I'm a massive fan of the Mets strappy sandal. There's also a little video that Kate did as part of the campaign. And they say, what's your ultimate party shoe? And she says, it's a strappy sandal. Yeah. You're wearing a sort of, can you hold your foot yeah. up? Ooh, are they, where are they from? These are Zara. But I, they're yeah. Bottega inspired. Exactly, they've got the square toe. And they've got the square toe. Jimmy Choo has now done a Mets with quite a high heel. I think yeah. it's 100. Um, with a square toe. It's really cool, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's really cool. I love a strappy sandal for yeah. the evening. And there's Charlotte and I were having a mutual sort of love-in over the Mets heel. So there's a silver one, which is awesome. And then there's a white one with an anklet Ooh, around. Oh, cool. cool. And it's sort of a bit tacky, but really cool. <laughs> yeah. And there's an anklet on each shoe. So it's not just one. Anyway, it's really now. It's really cool. Mm. Again. That, was, was she wearing those with the pink dress? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, I don't maybe think she I wears it. the it one with an the anklet. Okay, she fine. wears the Mets. Right. Uh, yeah. There's some amazing, uh, metallic amazing. pink and silver. Anyway, again, if you win the lottery, head to Jimmy Choo and get yeah. yourself a pair of those. Um, anyway, we've got some good shoe game going on. We were having a shout out for your, I don't think people can see your gannies. Can they see her gannies? <laughs> yes, we can see her gannies. <laughs> like, Laura's got her brilliant Zara's and I've got my Vita. Yeah, those are They're cool, aren't on they? my wish list. Anyway, these are 65 quid, I think. So can you see them? Can you see them? <laughs> I'm getting a thumbs up. Uh, Cheap, They're forever shoes, I think. They're good, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Good heels. Cinderella. Well. Yeah. Anyway, a uh, bit cheap for the Jimmy Choo. Uh, we're going to finish today. Well, unlike Kate, I am not going for the teetotal life just yet, and especially not in lockdown. Uh, especially not today. It's National Pink Day. It's 28 degrees in London. And it's, does pink mean rosé? I don't know. This. Yeah. <laughs> what is pink? Is that rosé? Is that what you wear? I, I'm taking it as rosé day. I'm, to, okay. I'm taking it as an essential step that you take today is to, <laughs> to drink rosé. <laughs> I'll take your, your instruction. Apparently it was National Rosie Day last week. I think so, yeah. They did say that rosy sales have gone up 50% in lockdown. How Does not all? surprise me yeah, I think at I all. Yeah. Are you on that bow, Morgan? I'm, I'm the other half, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I think ever since we were allowed to meet up with up to six people outside, I've been going at the weekend to see my mum and we've been meeting up with a few friends in our garden and it is just a rosé party it every is, weekend. Yeah. I don't even wait till the weekend. <laughs> I, I, I just, someone said yesterday, I just um, got a quite a cool drinks cabinet at home, uh, having just done my house, and someone said, do the doors automatically open at six o'clock oh. on a Friday? I was like, are you freaking joking? Six o'clock <laughs> on a Friday? A bit late. Like, five o'clock on a Monday. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are, yeah, we're also big, big fans of Mirabeau at Sherlux, mm -hmm. aren't we? Uh, they're doing Rosie in a can. What do you think of Rosie in a can? Yeah, I think I could be persuaded. Picnic time. 
Let's so that yeah. faff that they knocked about. Yeah. I think mm. keep it safe. Recyclable. Yeah. 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 Not too heavy. Um, we all picked our favourite. Mirabeau is one of mine. My other favourite, bit of a tip here, uh, is Sainsbury's Cremant de Loire. It's... Ooh. Uh, it says £11.50. Anyway, it's under £12. Uh, it's, it's like, if you like pink champagne, you'll like this. But it's under 12 quid. It's delicious. Okay. It's taste the difference. Uh, and then Mirabeau is my other favourite. Harriet, yours was? Mine is an interesting one because I think it's very easy to say that Whispering Angel is your favourite. Everyone loves Whispering Angel. But we've been drinking the Palm by Whispering Angel, which is sort of their sister brand, and it's, it's cheaper, basically, mm. oh, right. but only by about sort of four or five pounds. So it's not like you're going seriously sort of down market with it. It's just, I think they've marketed it. If you look at the bottle with the label and stuff, it's just a bit funkier. Than, it's a bit younger, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's definitely aimed at a younger kind of crowd. Um, Ooh, but, you know, if you're having lots of people and you don't want to shell out for Whispering mm. Angel, but you still want that Whispering still Angel vibe. Good. Yeah, it's marginally darker it's than Whispering Angel. Marginally though. darker, yeah. but okay. it's, um, yeah, That's it's my one. new fave. The Palm. Okay, I need to try that. Mm. Uh, Laura? Mine is called Ultimate Provence, but it's all about the bottle for me with rosé. The bottle, I'm I looked at the picture, oh my God. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like I drink rosé with my eyes as well as anything else, as long as it's pale and in a pretty, in a pretty bottle. I'm, I'm with you. And actually, wine experts will tell you Actually, it's not all about the colour, and you can get some really light dark rosés, but I'm, yeah. I, I need it to be pale. It yeah. doesn't feel the same. Yeah, my husband did a wine tasting, a remote Zoom wine tasting with work the other day, oh, and he fun. had this quite expensive, it was a pink Rioja rosé. I was like, no, I'm out. Looks Too wrong. Dark. <laughs> wanna... Yeah, it looks wrong. Uh, reminds me of the 90s. Um, yours is £23. Yeah, it's expensive, but it looks cool. We also, we also love Miraval still in our house. Yeah. Brad and Angelina's. Don't yeah. know how that works. There's, the money I, I don't want to do a spoiler alert, but we have got a piece going on the site on Thursday, which will include a new bottle from the Miraval, Mirab Mirabal. Mirabal estate, mm -hmm. which is called Studio by Miraval, which is, again, a younger, kind Clever. of trendier mm. brand. Clever. Because I think since Brad and Angelina split, the vineyard is not as sort of under their control as it once was. So mm. they've been able right. to take some more creative decisions. Oh, I need to try that one too. Well, it's National Pink Day, so, you know, what better excuse? Uh, thank you, ladies. Now, in just a moment, Laura and I will be looking at the best new pieces that Zara has to offer. But first, Hannah Martin is here to show us how to achieve the perfect eyeliner technique. Hi, I'm Hannah Martin. Welcome to the chaos that is my makeup room. Um, I am eye makeup free because I want to talk to you today a little bit about eyeliner. And I'm going to start with the first, which I think is probably the easiest, and that is simply by using a dark eyeshadow. So this is Mekong by NARS, and it's a gorgeous dark reddish brown. And I'm just going to use an angled brush, and I'm going to simply dip into the dark shadow and then using the slant of the brush I'm simply going to push that dark powder along the base of my lash line. Now I really find that the shape of the brush is helpful and as you'll note I've got my eyes open and I'm looking down into the mirrored compact that the eyeshadow comes in and having my eye open allows me to simply press the shadow into the base of my lashes without any kinks or mishaps because my eye is still because it's focused on the mirror. I quite like to pull up in the outer corner just to make it a little bit more dramatic but that really is a very quick and easy eyeliner technique. The most commonly used eyeliner is of course a pencil liner. Now I love these ones from Lord & Berry uh, this is called Line and Shade because this eye pencil is really soft. So I'm going to take this pencil much like the powder and with my eye open, just start pushing into the root of the lashes. Now this is why a soft pencil is so useful to have because if you've got a harder pencil that when you try and lay down colour it simply doesn't transfer from the tip of the pencil to your eyelid, that's when pencil eyeliner can become really, really tricky. You'll see I'm barely using any pressure 
whatsoever with this soft pencil and by doing lots of little strokes I have managed to create a line. Now what I love to do with this product is use my ring finger and simply buff very gently smudging that liner for much more of a smoky look and for me this is one of the loveliest easiest ways of dressing eyes because your eyes look defined and polished but also just really really simple now of course we can't talk about eyeliner without talking about liquid liners and um, this is the pat mcgrath labs liner and this is one of the ico black magic liners and i love these well this one because it's more of a felt tip so that's great this one is a soft brush but it's very malleable now what i'll often do is i'll do either a pencil or powder and then use my liquid liner to trace over the top however the technique is essentially the same so looking down into a mirror i'm just going to start by doing lots of small strokes all the way along the lash line the key is to make sure that the liquid goes right in to the very very base of the lashes all the way to the outer corner then when you've got your root of the lash line, you can leave it like that. But what I could do is you can go back in, of course, over that light trace and create something a little bit more substantial and a little bit more dramatic. So there we go. I hope that little eyeliner 101 has been helpful. Bye. Thank you, Hannah. As always, some seriously pro tips. Now, Zara has opened its physical doors in the last week, and in the name of curation, Laura headed into store yesterday. Well done, it was a bit of a mission, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. First step into a shop in about three months. It was nice. And you said it actually wasn't too busy, you said there was a bit of a weird in and out. Yeah, I mean, they tried to do one way, but you can't continue that, can you, once you're in the shop? But no. anyway, it, it, it was nice. A lot of mask wearing, but it was nice. And you can't try anything on? can't try anything on, you can't use a basket, you can't leave anything behind the till. Um, so I was literally... To go with the crossbody. Yeah, I was laden. <laughs> you were laden. Okay, right, let's see see what you've got. So you haven't seen these, have you? I haven't seen these, although I've seen this online because we did chat about this before. Oh, I just think this is so great. This is oh. 19 I think. Do you have such a lot of top for 19 Can I touch it? I'm not, I'm not supposed to get too close. I'm going to get in trouble in a minute, but I really do want to touch it because it's... Oh, it's got a sort of elastic. It's got an elastic to keep it in place. Oh, I love it. So don't you think with some like pale denim? I or think. like or even yeah. I want it with high, high waisted and that's your legs 16. And... But um, yeah, I think that is super cool. I really, really love it. it. What size is that? Does it come in all sizes? That yes, it does. I think this is a medium. And also, it's not too. I like if you're bigger on top and you've got really good underwired support yeah. bars, of which there are amazing ones. There's enough there that you can kind of cover up the bulk. Yeah, Do you definitely. Know what I mean? As long as your trousers are high waisted enough. As long as your trousers are high waisted yeah. enough. Okay, that's a winner. Uh, what have we got? White shirt. So next up, we've got. I mean, this is just Standard. a winner, isn't it? But it's got the collar. It's got the kind of broidery detail. I think this would look really lovely with some dungarees. Pretty. Yeah, yeah. I love that. It's... I love that. You love that look, don't you? With yeah. the dainty blouse and yeah, the dungarees. I do. Yeah, really I nice. really like that. Twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. That will be a bestseller, won't it? They always yeah, do well I with those tops. Then we've got these two, and I think you have got this that one. one. Oh, but I like that. But one. they've done this sort of Frank shot with the with the shoulder pads. Oh yes, um, they have. Oh, I like that one better. I think. Oh. I really like mine. I well, really I think like this is twenty nine ninety nine again. So maybe you could splash out. But, but I've had so many compliments on mine. I've got the small. That's the small. This is small. Uh, and it's quite generous, but I've had loads of compliments. Yeah. I've worn it loads. So it's lovely. been really good with just jeans at home and like a little heel if we've, you know, been making an effort. If you've been making an effort, yeah, which you have. You've not that I'm up. seeing anyone ever wearing a knockdown, aren't we? <laughs> okay. And then Next. these, which I love again Amazing. for being at home. And it actually, did, I've seen online it comes with a matching top, but they didn't have it in store yesterday. But I love the colour. Oh, that that's got Charlotte Collars written all yeah, over it. it does, and it? I, sorry, I'm not allowed to touch. But I, <laughs> I really like those with the top. With the, the, band, the one on oh, the end. Oh, this one? Yeah. 
I love that. Yeah, I think some gold you, earrings. I think that's going to be even better with some more trousers. Coming. Okay, okay. <laughs> Those are cool. But they're cool, aren't they? With, How much yeah, were they? Gold jewelry. They are twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty five ninety nine. Oh. God, amazing. Love those. I have lived in those. We talked about stuff we've lived in lockdown. I'm wearing some now yeah. that are very old. But I've just lived in floaty, silky trousers. Loose, yes, so nice. Denim with just the t-shirt. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, okay. Okay, then we've got this yellow skirt, which I'm not... I mean, I think I need you to feel this, to feel the material, because it's sort of... Oh, it's like an umbrella. <laughs> it's, uh, it's nice, though. Yeah, it's, 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 it's quite nice. It's touchable. Yeah. I like it. It's really but pretty I yellow. Thought, it's a really pretty yellow, yeah. isn't it? And again, just with the t-shirt and brown And the feet. shoes you're wearing. Yeah, I yeah. just thought it would be really... I really like that. Really cool. I love that yellow with white. It's just so... Gold jewellery. Yeah, fresh. If, yeah, exactly. Really nice. Okay. Then we've got this suit, which if you're going for... Oh. You know, if you're looking for something a bit <gasps> smarter... I God, just colour. thought the colour was so cool. Oh, don't you? God, I love sorry. The blazer's oversized for sure. I have got trousers with this kind of belt from Zara in black that I had have also had so many cotton. And it's that kind of like covered the belt, isn't it? But it's cool. It's like it's not baby pink, it's not peach, it's not apricot, it's kind of a bit of all of those. That's exactly. amazing. It's cool, isn't it? Oh. That's big, but I think together. That is really that cool. is epic. I really, really love that. What a good find. How much is that? 60 quid for the blazer, 30 quid for the belt? For the trousers? Uh, no, I think 60 quid for both. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, no, 30 quid. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Um, uh. Then we've got this. I actually bought this yesterday. Oh. <laughs> but I thought this is 29.99. I just thought it was so useful. Love that. I and went I mean, slightly bigger. Yeah. Um, I think, obviously, I'm quite small and I think it, it hits quite a nice place on me but for 29.99 don't you think that's so useful so really useful. nice now with a bare arm but also like over some cashmere yeah so and I love I love mine yeah bare arm in the evening in the winter with leather skinnies like a belt and yeah. heels and then a proper coat um I love to yeah, layer. I live in those you know I'm a big fan yeah it's brilliant they're so good at tailoring aren't they it's hard to beat they are on Oh, I think this is going to be a bit of a win. I feel like this ticks all the boxes. It's yeah, it red, does. it's frills, it's puff sleeves, it's a bit of brownie, yeah. it's midi. I just, yeah, that Actually, is super cool. And of all the features that we run on the site, the red dresses always do so well. Something about this colour in the summer that just looks amazing. Yeah, exactly. I love that, just with some simple sandals. And there's a top, isn't there, as well? There's a matching top, yeah. Really nice. So that's Fab. cool. That's a proper dress up, dress down. I mean, snooze, we say that all the time, but gen genuinely, you could wear that with trainers or... Yeah, absolutely. Or just, yeah. just like simple, like tan, tan um, sides with yeah. some yeah. tanned feet. I think lovely. Look lovely. Lovely. Then we've got this, which is, I mean, it's pretty, it, yeah, it's like simple, but I just thought in the evening... Just with some jeans, if you're going, it's I don't know. Oh, I see, I thought it was t-shirty. I like that. No, just, do so you think, like, again, if at the moment you're going to people's gardens, want to make a bit more of an effort, but yeah. don't want to look too overdone. I yeah. thought that was really pretty I think those arms are brilliant. Yeah. Very nice. I like that. That would look good on you. And then finally, I oh. mean, similar vibe, but this is what, I just thought that would look quite cool. Oh, so nice. Uh, but these are, Charlotte and I both had the purple ones. Do you remember last summer? They did a really nice... Like a pinky purple. A pinky purple. Yeah. That's exactly the same. Oh, I think this colour color is, is epic. amazing. It's Sometimes red can just not be right, but for me, this is really, really right. That is the summer red, isn't it? Yeah, That exactly. looks amazing on any skin colour. So that's it. Love. We've got some shoes. Don't oh, forget yes, your shoes. We do have some accessories. So then we've got these, which are kind of a... I don't know. They like the Hermes Oran with some pearls a bit kind of... Super, oh, nice. But super, you know, you could be totally simple and then wear these. Yeah. Sorry, let's get that out of the way. Love those. Um, I really love those with red toes. Exactly. And oh, I'm, I'm bummed those aren't in my size because I'd want to try them on. Oh, they're, they're really cool. cool. They're so elegant. And again, just a crazy 25 99 Can you, can you Sorry. turn them right around? Yeah. 25 99 I thought the heel was really... It's a really good size, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. Love and it's those. got the square toe again. And finally, a bit and of a Loewe. Exactly, a bit of a Loewe dupe, but yeah, this Cute. lovely. Yeah, it's got the longer handle as well, if you like it. And you know, we love Loewe, but they are like, blow the doors off, expensive for totally, a basket. for a small basket. Uh, no offence to the person from Sheer Lux who's got one over there. <laughs> um, anyway, this is a I lot really sweet more size. reasonable. Yeah, love yeah. it. 
Well done, Laura. You did a cracking job at the last minute. So thank you so much. As always, the links will be in the show notes below. Next up, we're back with ex-catwalk star turned nutritionist Rosemary Ferguson to talk us through her five-day plan guaranteed to get us on track for summer. I love that washed cotton. Black dresses in summer, I absolutely love. I think that is the perfect addition. Hi everyone, so summer is officially here now. I thought I would share with you my summer wardrobe essentials. This is kind of the core pieces that make up my summer wardrobe. This is the linen Bridget dress in the navy. I've got so much wear out of this. Black dresses in summer I absolutely love, um, especially in the evening. This one is from 90% which is available on net porte A pair of denim cut off shorts. These aren't, you know, trend led. These are going to be around year after year. This gorgeous pretty one from Isabel Morant. I was super lucky to snap this up in a sample sale. This one is more of a boater style. I prefer the boater style to the fedora for summer. I just think it looks a little bit cooler and a little bit more interesting um, and more feminine actually. These are the Arizona style. They go with every single thing that I've got laid out. Years on the go, modelling around the world, taught Rosemary Ferguson a thing or two about burnout. Now a qualified nutritionist to some of the world's highest flyers who rely on her programmes to reset and revive themselves, she's here today to tell us about the benefits. Welcome. <laughs> Hi. Lovely to have you. You came on the show a while ago, didn't you? I to did. I came with studio. I came with Gizzy. You did. Yeah, yeah. we did. Um, and I have been following you on Instagram and watching your reset programmes thinking, I really need to get involved. <laughs> um, but first of all, I just wanted to go back because in the introduction I said model turn nutritionist, which is not an uncommon path. But what's interesting is that that kind of health world is really in your blood, isn't it? Yes. So I grew up surrounded by homeopaths. My mum's a kinesiologist. And my grandmother was one of the first people to ever have a healthy chop in the country. Amazing. So yes, it's always, I've always been treated with alternative medicine my whole life. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And Thanks you were saying, which I just thought was really amusing, <laughs> that when you were modelling back in the day, yeah. um, I suppose we've got a 20-year-old. I mean, you look incredible. But, you know, you were modelling a while ago. I was modelling a while ago, yeah. I mean, I do still every now and then do it, but I was modelling 90s, 2000s. I mean, I st I've been doing this for 10 years. Have so you? I've been in nutrition Gosh, for 10 years. Been a while. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. But back in the day, yes. you were, you know, behind the scenes after the show's models were sort of eating burgers and whatever, and you were drinking kale juice. Well, yeah, but I mean, there is a backstory to that because I would go out and party quite hard. Right. And so then it would be like bank balancing, like, okay, okay <laughs> some goodness in, bad is out. Um, but yeah, I was, I was really into food then and what it could do. I was really, I really believed that, okay, if you do, yeah. so yeah, I was, I've always been like the power of food. So that was, you know, we have homeopaths and things in the family, but nutrition was my medium for healing and, you know. And you're now a fully qualified nutritionist. You see lots yeah. of amazing people. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you put together this five-day and this 14-day yes. plan. And, I mean, I certainly... We were talking about Rosé earlier. But, you know, I certainly... I sort of flip from being quite healthy. In some ways, I'm not eating out in restaurants, but I'm yeah. snacking all the time. I'm too much chocolate and too much alcohol. Yeah. And I definitely feel like I could do with a bit of a yeah. reset. So yeah. People are watching and they feel the same. Can you talk us through this five-day plan? You know, why would you do it? And what symptoms are you looking for that make you go, right, I need to do that? Yeah, so I suppose at this time, especially people have been, like you said, I mean, actually, can I just say, Whispering Angel started, follow, followed me for a while on Instagram, and it was like the proudest moment of my life. I was like, <laughs> Whispering Angel followed me. I said to my assistant, so I was like, oh, this is amazing. Because it is, Rose, and I used to be called Rosé. I mean, I do love a glass of Rosé. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Love that, Rose. But this Rosé and baguette season were upon us, and also are off the back of, like, lockdown I think you know I suppose the five-day plan <clears throat> came out of people it was a quick fix it's a quick way of getting back on track yeah. and while you know like to have long-term weight loss long-term health repair any of those things it takes a while yeah but sometimes you just need a quick snap to get back on you, to, I, into that mindset I so agree and sometimes yeah. it's not I mean this is not about weight loss you have got yeah. another weight loss program but this one is about a reset and it's this amazing how I find I can just do five days if yeah. I'm really disciplined yeah. and it makes the difference just from your genes feeling a bit better and yeah. your skin feeling a bit better yeah and, and it's actually just a really like shows you the power of food it yeah. shows you the power of what you eat and it actually gives people a bit of like sense of control they're like yeah. okay actually if I eat this 
I can actually help myself feel better rather than feeling completely hopeless. Yes, and it's like, not oh, beyond my, it's not, not no. beyond my reach. So you're basically, you're doing this if you're run down, if you're tired, if you're yeah. bloated. Bloated, all those things, if your skin's bad. It's a lot to do with energy and clarity. It's a lot for your gut it's to yes. help your gut get better, which helps everything get better. But I'd say if you're just feeling like energyless, energyless, lack of energy. Lacking in energy. Yeah. Lacking in energy, bloated, and your skin's not, you're not feeling vibrant. It's a really brilliant thing to do. And after five days, you'll feel, it completely turns you on your head. And is now a good time to do it? Now is a really, I mean, I think any, any time to do it is a good time to do, if, uh, you know, any time. But I think particularly now after lockdown, everybody I speak to is like, I haven't done as so much exercise. I've been living six feet from my fridge, which turns out doesn't work that well for health. <laughs> <laughs> you know, snacking is, oh. is a really big one. Snacking and booze yeah. and, you know, just, and yeah. also just a feeling of lethargy. I think yeah. being stuck at home all this time has made us feel a bit like, yeah. Okay, yeah. you know, a bit like a motivation. So if you are within the London, Oxfordshire, Gloucestershire Oxfordshire, yeah. area, there is, I think, a really, really reasonable... I think so. No, I mean, I'm living in another world, but 265, yeah. five days, food's delivered to your door. Every day, fresh. I think that's, like, if you're going to invest in yourself for a week and get yourself back on track, I personally think that's quite a good use of... Yeah. Well, it's not, it's not as expensive as going somewhere. And it's yes. delivered every day, you know, and it's everything. So mm -hmm. you don't need to think about food. Yeah. And by the end of it, you will feel different. And we actually, I, because I'm a nutritionist, I, you know, I put in some supplements as well, depending what's going on. So now I would probably put in some quite liver, sh liver supportive supplements. Because of the alcohol. But um, if you are not within the delivery area, there are ways you can take it into your yes. own hands. So what we've got coming up on the screen now is a list of the dietary do's and don'ts. Yeah. And this is a kind of top line list. There's a much more detailed list, isn't there? Yeah, we do have a food list. And actually, I don't, I'm always happy to, you know, I think it's on my Instagram as well, the food list for it, because it's very anti-inflammatory. So it's things like no dairy. It's the biggies, like no dairy, no wheat, no gluten. And then it goes into things like deadly nightshades. No alcohol, I should have said that first, and no sugar. So there are the big ones. Five days, five days. Five days, five days. There's a 14, there's days. There's a reason why we decided yes. to talk about the five days. <laughs> yeah, one step at a time. Just five days. But, and I'm not a great fan of cutting out food groups in general, but for this, for the purpose of this, it's just to give you, you know, it's just like, just be strict for five days and you'll feel so much better. Okay, so hopefully everyone's done a screen grab now yes, of the foods exactly. to include and exclude. We're excluding dairy, gluten, soy, eggs, alcohol, caffeine, artificial sweeteners, refined sugar, nightshade, vegetables, just very quickly. Yes. What's a, what's a nightshade vegetable? So things like tomatoes, potatoes, aubergine, chilli, pepper. Why are they pepper. called a nightshade vegetable? They're part of the deadly nightshade family. Deadly. They're not the de deadly. Yes. deadly. 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 Who thought a tomato could be deadly? I know. Well, some of them are very My son. small part of the population react to it and it causes inflammation. Oh right. But um, because I'm not test I'm not talking to people individually, I just do a blanket like this might irritate you so I'm taking it. How people miss their tomatoes. Um and anyway, if you want more details on all of that, go to Ro follow Rosie on Instagram. Your Instagram's brilliant. There's loads there. Thank you. Um but we're going to finish with the nine guidelines. So if you're at home and you're saying, right, I'm gonna yes. do a reset, I'm gonna take it into my own hands, there are your do's and don'ts. Okay. And now here are your guidelines. So the first one is start each day with a warm water and lemon. Yeah, so that's just a really simple way to get your digestion flowing, so get the juices okay. going. Number two, increase all vegetables. Yeah, they're like a multivitamin. And if you have to have rainbow vegetables, it will really help. It will really change the way that eat you rainbow, feel. Eat the rainbow, eat, eat raw. rainbow. Eat, well, you can eat raw in the morning better than the afternoon. But it Why? doesn't... Uh, well, it tends to be it's quite hard to digest. For a lot of people, they find they get bloated. So just see how you react to raw. Raw is great if you can... Interesting. Yeah. Uh, greens, greens, greens. Greens, 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 full of B vitamins. They're fantastic for your methylation, your detox cycles. Okay, you've said watercress, spinach, kale, rocket. Yes. Asparagus. Why does asparagus make your wee smell? It's got, when it metabolises, it, it gives you something called a metabolite, which makes your wee smell. But it's also really good for digesting alcohol or helping you recover from alcohol. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. It's weird how, like, one little <laughs> nug. I'm like, oh, it was in there. <laughs> I didn't know. Um, number four, eat a rainbow. We've done rainbow yeah. of fruit and veg. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Oh, I should have said, actually, the first one, it's also fibre to get your fibre. We don't eat enough fibre. Yes. So that's why vegetables are really important for fruit and And we, we think of fibre, don't we, as like fibre, high fibre cereals. Yeah, like oat bran. Yeah, yeah, that's it. No. But actually, it's coming from vegetables. Yeah, and you need it for your microbiome. You need it for your gut to be healthy. Mm. 
Okay, good fats, number five. Oh, yes, good fats. People are still stuck on, on fats being this enemy. They're so not the enemy. If there's a brilliant book called Eat Fat, Get Thin, which is fantastic. And anyway, and it just, um, good fats are fantastic for information. I need to, I need to reprogram my yeah. head. I'm the first to admit, I've yeah. actually got better. Yeah. But lots of olive oil in my salad last night, but that, it's taken me a while. It's, I'm getting there, but I'm definitely yeah. quite It's awesome. really good for skin, actually. It's mm. been amazing for skin. Cell, all your cells are made of fats, the cell membrane. So you need them to be plump. I know, I know plump. the theory, I know the theory. Uh, <laughs> number six, e, uh, include good proteins, turkey, chicken, fish. Yes, Ch proteins are building block and we need to have really good quality protein. And if you're a veggie? If you're a veggie, you could have fermented organic tofu or soy, or fermented organic soy, soy, or also, you know, plump it up with um, a really good protein shake. Uh, number seven, include complex carbohydrates. Yeah, so this is a carb phobia. So, you know, have, have, I don't have a carb phobia. I love carbs. Love carbs. <laughs> Eat you need them. Carbs. You need them for your brain to work properly. And, you know, and people, so have some in the morning. So if you're, you know, have, just have a little bowl of porridge um, or some brown rice, wild rice. It's yeah. really important for your energy levels. Quinoa, obsessed with quinoa. Yeah. Quinoa. At number eight, pulses such as lentils and chickpeas. Again, fibre. They've got loads and loads of different minerals and vitamins in them. People find them hard sometimes. If you're finding them hard to digest, it probably means your digestion's not quite up to working as well as it should be. Your gut might need a little bit of help. Um, will you allow a merchant gourmet lentil in a pack? Yes. Oh, I love them. I will. Love them. I will. <laughs> and number nine, two litres of water or herbal tea a day. Yes. So make sure you hydrate. That's the number one thing, problem for tiredness, headaches, um, you know, yeah, tiredness, I just said tiredness, is lack of water, hydration. People don't drink enough water. So, yeah. Reset, spice. reset, reset, reset. You can spice it up, put some mint in it. Some, actually, it's great with cucumber. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I know. I need a big fridge I can put. I know. Infuse your water, that's Infuse nice. Infuse your it? water, I know. Um, I need to get on the bandwagon. You make it sound simple, but... Do you know what? I think it has to be balanced. I love a glass of rosé, and I love a big night out, and I love dancing in the kitchen and all of that stuff, but I tell you what, the older I get, the harder it is. Mm. And so things like snacking just slow you down, and I, I've got too much, many things to do. I've got too much mm. to do. Mm. I know, so, so true. It's just a bit of both. Um, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thank Check you out welcome. Rosemary's Instagram. If you want a bit of a reset, then it is well worth it. I definitely need it. <laughs> thank you to everyone you. as usual all of the product mentioned in today's show will be linked in the show notes below there will be no show on thursday but we'll be back on tuesday with india Semit and some serious summer fashion inspo and the super talented florist ronnie colby until then do please thumbs up subscribe tell your friends leave us a comment below thank you so much for watching bye, -bye.